According to the internet, Summer Walker has the best album launches and the best marketing team. But is that true? Well, in this video, we're going to critically analyze her pre-launch marketing strategy for her upcoming third album. Let's get into it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get back to the video. So Summer Walker's pre-launch strategy started in early October where she posted something on her Instagram stories which was later picked up by other publications. What she posted was like a teaser. So you could see the name of her first album then the name of her second album which all follow the same theme by the way. So it's over it and still over it. But then she posted something at the bottom which was a line and then over it. So what she was saying was that there's a third album coming, it's going to follow the same team, but she didn't provide the full name. So obviously people were curious, you know, they were trying to guess what would be the name of the third album. And she followed right up with that curiosity with a game. So the game was something that would allow people to put their guesses in and then it would generate, you know, something for them that they can post, you know, on social media and also something Summer herself can repost. And the guesses were funny. There was cry over it. Maybe I'm not over it. Always over it. There were so, so many funny guesses. And what did this was that it created hype and anticipation for the album and it also let other people know that the album was about to come so when people see people posting this they're like what's this about that's how i even saw it myself i saw it on twitter and i was like oh summer's about to launch her third album and then finally on the 11th of october she dropped the teaser video for her single which had two very interesting things that I know she put in there to let people talk. So the first thing was that it seemed like there was a voice note from her ex-boyfriend, which people know how it, which of course the internet picked up and she knew they would do that. And then finally she revealed, you know, the name of the album being finally over writ. And then immediately after that reveal, she went on promoting the single, which is Heart of a Woman, which she actually, you know, revealed in that video as well. And then she finally dropped the single on the 25th of October and used America's favorite couple in there. I think that was very, it was a very nice touch. It's like people are talking about this currently. So let me use them in this video so that, you know, she can get to that fan base as well. But not only that, people will look forward to the album. However, it seems like there's some mixed reviews about the song. Some people are saying it shouldn't be the lead. I don't know. What, what do you think? Have you listened to Heart of a Woman? What do you think? And at the point that I'm making this video, she has not announced the album date yet. But I'm conscious that I'm recording this now. It needs to go into editing and all of that. So maybe she will reveal, you know, the name by the time I post this video. But I think she has done enough with her pre-launch strategy to make the album a success. But what do you think? Because obviously later on, she's going to go on interviews. You know, she's going to drop the album and then there will be some things people will talk about and do all of that. But I feel like for the pre-launch so far, she has done enough for people to start talking about the album and anticipating the album. But what do you think? Do you think she's done enough in her pre-launch strategy? Are you looking forward to what the launch strategy will be and the post-launch strategy will be? Do you want me to cover that for a video as well? So let me know. Let me know in the comments. I might do a video on that as well. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you all to the commenters and the subscribers.